What's up, timekeepers? Me, Tom Gamer here, bringing a new game for you guys called Hidden Agenda. So, if ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright, guys. So today I'm gonna be playing a small little game called Hidden Agenda. This is gonna. This is a uh, game, a new, uh, well, a recent game on PlayStation uh, featuring PlayLink, which you play with your cell phone here. So basically, everything controls. So you look at the screen, and as as you can see, as I move my finger, the cursor moves. As I can show you. So if you guys want to try it out, it's, on, it's actually on special right now. I don't know how the special ends today. I don't remember. Go look. Anyway, the game was like six dollars, and it's usually like twenty-six dollars. Anyway, so we're gonna start a new game. This is gonna be a full playthrough, hopefully. Uh, it's a sort of an investigation police type game. This is made by the same people from Until Dawn. So without further ado, we'll just jump right in. So let's let's do it. Ripple effect noun: the spreading consequence of a single event in action. Yes, that makes sense. Every choice you make changes the future. Ba ba ba. <clears throat> Some affect relationships between characters. So it takes a lot from until dawn, just applied differently. Others make waves that changes everything. See, they, they even implied that. Choose wisely. Very nice, very nice. Oh, this guy is having a bad day. Never starts off when you see somebody that's scarred with a camera in front of him. At least he's praying. Something's helping him. I guess. Oh, okay. A killer with, that's a mass murderer of, uh, with gadgets and shit. That's always interesting. Not. Oh, God. Don't do it! No. No bueno. That's not good whatsoever. <clears throat> Multiple officers were killed during the process. Six weeks later. The trapper. So we get the sense of the story. Maybe, maybe this guy wants to trap cops. Would make sense. So I can pause the game, and there's also information here. Plot. Okay, I got information concerning the characters that just showed showed up in the in the story. So, this Officer Becky. Somebody. Nice and easy. Textbook. Textbook. Yep. What's the play? Hmm. Tutorial. Choices by moving your pointer inside the box. You cannot have ties. You must have the majority of vote. Okay. Uh, confident. We'll we'll take the front door. Cautious. Let's scope around. I would say let's scope around. It doesn't feel right. Let's scope it out. Yeah, that seems like the most obvious thing to choose. Banging music though. Party. Stealth mode. See you in there. Yeah, I don't think that's a better idea, but. This is some banging music, though. Tutorial. Use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. Okay. Okay. We're good. Ooh, all right. Fastest fingers. Finger, yeah. I guess so. Uh, I'm gonna go find partner. Because I'm a chicken shit. No bueno. Thank you. 
I, I would I would I would hate to die with that music playing right now. Hands up, hands up now! Major, Major, must move your pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. That's true. He's got a gun beside him, so. Hands behind your head, no sudden moves. Yeah. I saw you reaching. I saw you. You saw him, right? Oh. oh god. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh uh. Save partner. Save partner. God damn it. Ah, oh, god damn it. God damn it. I guess I'd... For the trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as God. police from the third precinct arrested someone didn't need to die Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on the story as it develops. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. God dang it. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. Sick games. Look at him. Finn has confessed he kind of looks like me. Every single one of these crimes. <laughs> he has the same name. Oh, Why? damn it. <laughs> because he hopes you will see him as a man, a fellow human being. Okay. But yeah, because we all kill people trapping them, right? Clever ploys. We cannot trust this man. He has a deceitful, twisted, villainous mind, and nothing he says or does will ever change that. I therefore recommend punishment to the full extent of the law, no less than the death penalty. Thank you. Goddamn right. Jonathan Finn, for the crimes for which you have been found guilty, I hereby sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned. Bang, bang. <laughs> Who laughs when you say, hey, you're gonna die right now in a couple months or whatever the period and then you smirk it's like okay sure okay i am ray weaver and this is the crawl let's kick it off tonight with our very own homegrown villain johnny finn the trapper sucker's been on death row for five whole years god damn trapper's only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble what so do you I mean thought, hey, five years yeah i know with all the process and like bones are open. the um Call all the the court purse the court stuff it might yeah, take five years, eh? In my point of view, like, they can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. I mean, that's no excuse Katie. to take it out on our finest boy Cass. blue. I hear you, but it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Marnie, for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Oh, God, of course. Evidence, improper conduct. Who knows what else? Damn. Guess you never know who's one of the good ones. Gosh darn it. I'm just doing my job and can't even do that without someone fucking yanking my chain. Police department. In undescript in undescript town. Oh, we can narrow it down. We can with the death penalty thing. When I'm trying to make sense of a fictional world that doesn't exist, Morning, of course. Morning, everyone. <laughs> Caught another pair of John Does this weekend. We're quickly racking up red names on this board, and I got to tell you, unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct. Just put Marty the magician on the case. 
I hear she's got a knack for making things disappear. Son of a bitch. Detective Calvary? I pretend you didn't just say that. You're dismissed. <coughs> Biography updated. The other guy's an asshole. <laughs> Calvary? Everyone knows he only reported you because you're the biggest target. Glad to know my accomplishments have earned me something. You doing okay? Uh, that guy is, is a I'd jerk. I'd be doing a lot better if Calvary would take a short walk off a tall building. Hey, just promise me you won't do anything. Don't give I anything to work with. Yeah. That's why the inquiry is still open. Oh, yeah, that's good. yeah, thanks. Let's let's take Just a chill pill. Telling myself that. Detective Marnie, can we have a word in my office? All right. I wonder if that is that my partner? Probably. Marnie, I'm not supposed to comment on an ongoing internal affairs investigation, but if it starts affecting my best detective, I'm sorry, sir. Hey, don't apologize. You're a good cop. I have no doubt you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intentionally. The facts will speak for themselves. Thank you for believing in me, sir. Hmm. You know, it sometimes feels like we don't have a choice in these things, but you do. You got me? Yes, of course. Mm, I want to believe that. But I know the trap was set for execution in 48 hours. It's a heavy load. Knowing you sent someone to death row, I don't want you to be distracted. Of course not. Uh, what, what? Eh. Finn's execution can't come soon. It, it must, it must be, oh, it must eat you up inside what? a bit, though, if you're, you're I mean, making sure you, you made the right folks choice. I are looking forward to a good night's sleep as much as I am. Hmm? The fact that he's still breathing keeps me up at night. Okay, that's not the either approach I was taking, but. Got your message. I'm heading to see your client now. Sorry, I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Felicity. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? He can be kind of a tough nut to crack. Be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? I know how to get what I need. I know how to get what I need. Call you after. Well, well, well. Your attorney says you've got something you want to okay. share with me. Very you've specific on that, that pepper spray there. <laughs> Miss Graves. I did not kill anybody. Oh, no. No, you... <laughs> I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. <clears throat> we trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us. This game is beautiful, though. It looks really, not really you nice. You can't forgive your abusers once you've put them in the ground. Forgiveness doesn't work like that. I didn't kill anyone. Finn. No. And with that aggressive, that, that aggressiveness, that aggressiveness from. And <coughs> you don't know the truth. What do you mean? What truth? I'm gonna die a liar. A dirty sin and liar. Truth about Goddamn. what? The confession, the murders, everything! Oh, so now you didn't kill them? The chaplain, the orderly? Then who did? <coughs> Adam Jones? Adam was my friend at the orphanage. Things we'd been through together, who could blame him for killing them? Adam doesn't exist. You know what I think? What? I think you just realized you're running out of road, so you're buying yourself a little extra asphalt. No. Yeah. No. You come up with a nifty little nobody to take your seat on the stainless steel ride. There's <laughs> only one problem. What's that? He doesn't exist. <gasps> that ticket's a one-way ride and never comes back. Where is he? Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. All right. And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries. Hell if I know. Adam tracks me down online. 
And he keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I wrap myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. <laughs> okay. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it, but... I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. Cops never found it? No. Well, you can go see for yourself. I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. <laughs> so where is he? Adam. Now? No idea. How can we find him? Gotta start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not, uh... It's better if I draw you a map. Sarcastic. You gonna draw me a treasure map? <laughs> All I can do is point you in the right direction, but, uh... Nope. You got words. Use them. I kinda need to show you myself. I'm not giving you a madman a goddamn pistol. No dice. Sorry, Ken. No dice. <sighs> Never even in the game, was I? I can't take it! I'm not supposed to be here! It's not supposed Chill to be here! Chill the fuck like out! Stop it! Chill out! This we caught insane. you doing it! Adam told me this wouldn't happen. I think he Adam's a fictional character in your head. Now. He promised! Finn, listen to me. I will look into this, Adam Jones, what you're saying, but even if it's true, it might be a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, my, my dude. I'm not trusting you with shit. How'd it go? How do you think? I got a report back on Adam Jones. He was at Las Palmas same time as my client, but he died in the same fire that closed it for good. Look, I know where you're going with this, and it's not gonna work. There's no way they're letting Finn out. It's too flimsy. I know. That's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? Tell the judge about Adam Jones. Maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana, it's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. Not enough to overturn. Finn is not a good man. But if he dies, and you didn't do everything in your power to make sure he is the trapper, could you live with yourself? <sighs> God, uh, what do I do here? I think he did it, but I think I think we need to be supportive a bit, just yeah. to like. You're right. Let's take it to Judge Banstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this part right here. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the small little game. This this is really fun playing right now. So uh, I'll definitely keep going in the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, like I already said. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me everywhere, Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, youtube.com forward slash me time gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Of course, leave a comment below what you thought of the game so far. If you tried it, what you would have done differently of what I've done, and all those knickknacks. So thank you so much guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.